Welcome to uh, Pastor's Weekly Devotion. Today it comes from the Gospel of Mark. We'll be in Mark for uh, actually this whole year um, with the ministry of Jesus and our lessons during those Sundays. We uh, find Jesus um, entering Capernaum and he's beginning to teach. He goes to the synagogue and he teaches, but the reaction of the people is what kind of caused someone to at least stop and pause because Mark says the people are amazed. They're astonished at the authority that Jesus speaks when he teaches. It's nothing like any scribe or teacher of the law preaches or teaches in the synagogue and they're astonished. I guess they're astonished because the word is not being spoken as though someone said it. The word being spoken is like Jesus himself spoke it and wrote it. And they see that this teaching has such authority and power. Of course, Jesus t puts his words in actions right away because in the very same synagogue, while he's teaching, there's this man with an unclean spirit. And this unclean spirit knows who Jesus is. He can see right through the skin and bones and flesh of Jesus and say, you, Jesus of Nazareth, are the Holy One of God. Imagine how evil spirits are able to see and penetrate in a spiritual way your condition your soul and spirit. Well, Jesus tells him to shut up, pretty much, because um, he won't have any distractions, at least while he's teaching in the synagogue. And the demons question Jesus, like, are you come to destroy us? Well, they knew way back in the Old Testament that Jesus was going to destroy the works of the devil. And his time had come, and Mark is signaling to us that this Jesus that you think you know is unlike anything you could imagine. And so he calls the spirit to be silent, and he obeys. I mean, it's, he's muzzled. He can't, he can't say anything more. And then he says, leave him. And he does. I wish we had that kind of amazement and astonishment when we hear the teaching of God's Word because it can do so much. Yeah, it can throw out spirits, but God's Word can do more than that. And you know that because God's Spirit not only frees a man from an evil spirit, God's Word with water was able to free you from all the evil sin that occupied your body, heart, soul, and mind. So the next time you hear God's word, whether it's being read or preached or spoken or announced or proclaimed, let your heart just take it all in because there's such power and authority behind it. For everything Jesus says happens just as he says. He will go to the cross just as he said. He will rise again just as he said. And he's coming back for you and me, just as he said. Let those words penetrate you this week. Let's pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, we just are so impressed that your word can do so much. It can create faith in the hearts of those who hear your word. It can forgive sins. Why, even the disciples, when they heard Jesus' first words, follow me, they left everything and followed you. May we let your word penetrate us and dispel all evil that may cling to our sinful, evil bodies. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.